Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Karnan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyal Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 7 in Second Law of Thermodynamics, Problems in Second Law of Thermodynamics, Part 1. So, we are going to solve problem in Second Law of Thermodynamics. We are going to learn about the cycle. Heat engine cycle, heat pump, refrigerator. In the concept, the theoretical concept, we are going to solve problems from Anna University question paper. First question, example number one. In a Carnot cycle, the maximum pressure and temperature are limited to 18 bar and 410 degrees Celsius. The volume ratio of isentropic compression is 6 and isothermal expansion is 1.5. Assume the volume of air at the beginning of isothermal expansion as 0.18 meter cube. Show the cycle in the PV and TS diagram. Determine pressure and temperature at the main points, thermal efficiency of the cycle. So, this is November 2012 and May 2016. So, problem is that we have to write down the given data. Initial pressure P1. 18 bar. So, 1 to 2 is uh, isothermal expansion, 2 to 3 adiabatic expansion, 3 to 4 isothermal compression and 4 to 1 adiabatic compression. So, P1 18 bar beginning 18 bar this is the maximum pressure and the corresponding temperature T1 equal to T2 equal to 410 degree Celsius which is 683 Kelvin. Volume V1 at the beginning 0.18 meter cube. Volume ratio for the isentropic compression. Isentropic compression is 4 to 1. So, V4 by V1 equal to 6. And for isothermal expansion, V1, V2 by V1 equal to 1.5. This is the given data. So, we have to calculate the pressure and temperature at all the points. First isothermal expansion process 1 to 2. V2 equal to 1.5 times of V1. So, V2 by V1 kudutthirukkaanga. V2 equal to 1.5 times of V1. 1.5 into 0.18 equal to 0.27 meter cube. So, P2 equal to P1 V1 by V2. So, P1 V1 equal to P2 V2. So, using the equation, P2 equal to P1 V1 by V2. So, 18 bar into 0.18 divided by 0.27 equal to 12 bar. So, P1 18 bar, P2 12 bar. V1, V2 value calculate paniyach. Then this is the temperature entropy diagram. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 4, 1. 1 to 2 isothermal heat addition. 2 to 3 isentropic expansion. 3 to 4 iso isothermal heat rejection and 4 to 1 isentropic compression. For isentropic compression process 4 to 1. So P4 equal to P1 into V1 by V4 to the power gamma. So 18 into 1 by 6. V4 by V1 equal to 6, V1 by V4 equal to 1 by 6 to the power 1.4 equal to 1.465 bar. T4 or T4 equal to T3, T4 equal to T1 into V1 by V4 to the power gamma minus 1. So, the relation between pressure and volume and temperature in the isentropic process. So, T1 equal to 683 into 1 by 6 to the power 1.4 minus 1 equal to 333.5. So, T4 equal to T3 equal to 333.5 Kelvin. Isentropic expansion, isentropic expansion 2 to 3, V3 equal to V2 into T2 by T3 to the power 1 by gamma minus 1. So, substitute 0.27 into 683 divided by 333.5 to, to the power 1 by 1.4 minus 1 equal to 1.62 meter cube. So, V3, the volume V3 equal to 1.62 meter cube and V4 equal to 6 times of V1. So, V1 by V4 equal to 1 by 6. So, 6 times of V1, this is 6 into 1, 0.18 equal to 1.08 meter cube. So, V3, V4 contributed charge, P4 contributed charge, T4 contributed charge. Then, isothermal compression, P3 equal to P4, V4 by V3 for isothermal compression process. So, 1.465 into 1.08 divided by 1.62 equal to 0.97 bar. Then, efficiency of the cycle. Eta equal to 1 minus T minimum by T maximum or T2 by T1, 1 minus 333.5 divided by 683 equal to 
0.512 which is 51.2 percentage that is the efficiency of the cycle. Thermal efficiency cycle equal to 51.2 percentage. Example number 2 an irreversible heat engine with a 66 percent efficiency of maximum possible is operating between 1000 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin. If it delivers 3 kilowatt of work determine heat extracted from the high temperature reservoir and rejected to the low temperature reservoir. So, it is a heat engine. So, the heat engine it is producing work. So, taking heat from a high temperature reservoir and rejecting the heat to a low temperature reservoir. Efficiency of the cycle equal to 0 0.66, T1 equal to 1000 Kelvin, T2 equal to 300 Kelvin and work done equal to 3 kilowatt. So, Carnot efficiency of the cycle eta C equal to 1 minus T2 by T1. So, 1 minus 300 divided by 1000 equal to 0 0.7. So, the actual efficiency equal to 0 0.66 times of the Carnot efficiency. So, 0 0.66 into Carnot efficiency equal to 0 0.7 equal to 0 0.462. So, actual efficiency. Then, heat extracted from the high temperature reservoir Q1 equal to W by eta A. So, 3 divided by 0 0.462 equal to 6.49 kilojoules. And heat rejected to the low temperature sink in the cycle Q2 equal to Q1 minus W which is 6.49 minus 3 equal to 3.49 kilojoules. So, the answer to the problem heat extracted from the high temperature source equal to 6.49 kilojoules and heat rejected to the low temperature sink in the cycle equal to 3.49 kilojoules. These are all the answers to the problem. Now, in the problem, the efficiency equation, efficiency equation, the actual efficiency, is the theoretical efficiency, the equation is Then, example number 3 from November 2016 question paper, a heat pump. So, this is the heat pump. So, it is taking, we have to supply work to the heat pump. It is absorbing heat from your low temperature reservoir. So, heat reservoir temperature T2 and rejecting, supplying heat, it is taking, absorbing from low temperature reservoir, supplying heat to a high temperature reservoir. A heat pump operates on the Carnot cycle with a COP of 8.7. It keeps the space at 24 degrees Celsius by consuming 2.15 kilowatt of power. Determine the temperature of the reservoir from which heat is absorbed and the heating load provided by the heat pump. So, the COP equal to 8.7. Temperature T1, it keeps the space. So, this is the temperature highest temperature 24 degrees Celsius which is 297 Kelvin. Work input equal to 2.15 kilowatt. So, the COP of the heat pump equal to Q1 by W. So, the high temperature heat source, the heat rejected to a heat supplied to a high temperature source Q1 divided by W, Q1 by Q1 minus Q2 which is in terms of temperature T1 by T1 minus T2. So, Q1 equal to COP into W, COP into W. So, COP is 8, 8.7 W equal to 2.15. So, 8.7 2.15 equal to 18.705 kilowatt. So, amount of heat supply to a high temperature source equal to 18.705 kilowatts. And COP equal to T1 by T1 minus T2. So, substituting COP equal to 8.7 equal to T1 equal to 297. So, 297 divided by 297 minus T2. So, solve T2 equal to 262.8 Kelvin which is minus 10.2 degree Celsius. Up in the heat pump on the, in the reservoir surrounding temperature is 10 point, minus 10.2 degree Celsius. Again, the heat absorb panni, it is supplying heat to a room which is maintained at 24 degree Celsius. So, this is the work input equal 2.15 kilowatt. So, the temperature of the reservoir from which heat is absorbed is minus 10.2 degree Celsius. Heating load provided by the heat pump equal to 18.705 kilowatt. These are all the answers to the problem. Example number 4. An inventor claims to have developed a refrigeration system that removes heat from a cold region at minus 12 degree Celsius and transfer it to a surrounding at 25 degree Celsius while maintaining a COP of 6.5. Is the claim is reasonable? Why? So, this is from November 2016 question paper. A refrigerator, we are supplying work to the refrigerator. So, work refrigerator work it is rejecting heat from your low temperature reservoir 
and supplying heat to a high temperature reservoir. So, T2 is the low temperature reservoir, T1 is the high temperature reservoir. So, given data in the problem, so T1 equal to 25 degree Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin, T2 equal to minus 12 degree Celsius, which is 261 Kelvin, COP equal to 6.5. So, the refrigerator, Carnot cycle refrigerator efficiency, Carnot cycle COP, COP of refrigeration cycle, Carnot efficiency equal to T2 by T1 minus T2. So, substituting 261 divided by 298 minus 261 equal to 7.05. So, the theoretical COP equal to 7.05, actual COP equal to 6.5. So, the Carnot COP of the refrigerator is 7.05, the actual COP is 6.5. The Carnot COP of the refrigerator is less than the, is greater than the actual COP. So, the claim is reasonable. So, this one thing you have to Actual COP should be always less than Carnot COP. COP calculated using the temperature is called as Carnot COP. Actual COP, heat, heat transfer and the work done. That is calculate the COP on the actual COP. So, actual COP should be less than the theoretical COP for re refrigerator, uh, heat engine or heat engine on the efficiency. Actual efficiency should be less than the theoretical efficiency. Heat, the heat pump ko, actual COP should be less than the theoretical COP. And the mari the it is possible. Otherwise, it is not possible. Okay. We stop here. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can write to my WhatsApp number. I will answer to your question. So, we will meet again in another video lecture with the additional problem in the second law of thermodynamics. Until then, bye.